Well, the younger chickens are now 10 weeks old. They're old enough to come out and take a beating from the other chickens. It's always nerve wracking when you introduce new chickens. I was really concerned about the roosters, Jedediah and Cletus. Jedediah. But it was actually old Blue that was the jerk. She must be the bottom of the barrel. They gotta find a pecking order. Gradually, more and more of them came out. I ended up having to pull the rest of them out manually, which they didn't like. But soon enough, they found the run and gave themselves a dirt bath. And some of them even went out into the channel. We built this coop last winter and I've been using the deep litter method where you just keep throwing on shavings, but it's getting stinky. I think mainly because of the brooder where the chicks were. And there's eggs in there because I left it open to make them feel a little bit more comfortable their first night. And some of the hens got in there and laid eggs. Now you get to watch me clean it. Ooh. Ah. It was about now when I heard a knock at the door. I knew it was a matter of time before curiosity would get a hold of the cows or the goats and they would rip those bags open and he tried. I tried to get him away but he ended up strangely liking the rake I was using. Okay, enough scratching my bull. I got work to do. Oh, here it is all finished. You know, I could clean the top of this, but they just poop all over it tonight. Speaking of chicken poop, it's high in nitrogen, so it's good for your garden. I put it in my raised beds. And more birds. I'm growing out some more bobwhite quail because our five remaining males are about three years old. It's pretty old for a bobwhite quail. I hope I have good luck with these. I've had trouble with quail eggs in particular bob whites but this is a better incubator that i'm using this time they did sit in the mailbox for a little bit over 100 degrees so we'll see how it goes here we are at the buck pen lefties had me concerned recently they both had diarrhea and i thought it was because i left the little goat care bucket in there they usually get diarrhea if they've eaten a little bit too much of it so that's why I take it away but Jack got over it and left these squirty so I got him some electrolytes and we'll give it a try it reminds me of that commercial where the guys drinking the girls Pedialyte and she's like hey that's mine and he's like I'll buy you a pony they ended up drinking a lot of this. In fact, I've had to give them another batch of it. But after two days, Lefty wasn't improving really. So I called in the big guns. Or maybe medium guns, because I'm not a vet. I've got my antibiotic, ivermectin for warming, soap that in no way cut through the buck smell, and hoof trimmers. They're on the stand anyway, might as well get it done. Katniss has been hard at work supervising everything that goes on in the barn. She does it for treats and I'm out. I don't have any treats. We worked out a deal to double up the treats and when we get them next and she gave us a free day. What generosity. Is it lined up over the Katniss? 
These are rubber slaw mats. This is the only way we saw to cut them and it worked pretty well. Derek tried his best to make it all square in there, but it never is completely square. There's no such thing as a square, okay? It fit though. And pretty dang tight. This is a piece of diamond plated metal we used. Just screwed it down onto the top of that lip and then bent it down for a ramp. We purposely did that purposefully. And here is the almost completed walk-in refrigerator. Speaking of bacon, wait, were we talking about bacon? Maybe I was just thinking about bacon. Mm, I can almost smell it. Anywho, this is Lily, who's not gonna be bacon. She's gonna be a mom. This is the farrowing pen. One of one location on Special Place Ranch properties where sows can come and birth their babies on a cleanish concrete slab. Gwen has made it even more of a spa experience with a lagoon type trench. Yeah, thanks Gwen. I have to fill this in because Lily's due September 2nd and if it starts raining, please God, it will fill with water and we don't want any babies to drown in that deep of a, a wallow or trench. Luckily, help has arrived. I had to get this stupid goat weed cut so it'll quit rubbing on my legs. And then me and the helpers got to work. And then they quickly lost interest and I was on my own. Here's what it looked like up close. And here's what it was like in slow motion. And it only took me what, 30 seconds? 30 bags, that's what it took me. Breathe it in, appreciate it. The Ever Big Counts Challenge is a challenge set up by Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead here on YouTube. She challenges everyone to preserve at least one thing a day in the month of August, because her harvest is in August, mine's in July. It's too hot here in August. But this is the elk stew. We've had this elk meat for a couple years and this was the last bit of it. So I'm canning it to make it last even longer. Now pay attention here. This is a, a crucial step. You gotta crack your pepper and in the meantime you break the glass cracker on the floor. In the next video, I can show you everything I've preserved for the year. If you like this video and you will enjoy watching us grow our farm, please subscribe and tell all your friends on social media. Have a good one.